Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. We're back with HW97 Carbines, or Carbine, however you say it. Uh, latest design in custom shotgun darts. These are a simplified design from his past work and use a urethane castable resin for the fin assemblies. Today we'll be shooting six different designs from our Mossberg 590 smoothbore shotgun. Now many people have said that it's impossible to sh shoot a projectile this long out of a smoothbore shotgun without rifling or without the fins being canted so they spin. So let's see if that's true or not. The darts are sitting right up against the power piston and have a paper patch which just holds them snugly into the shell. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Hopefully they work. Okay, dart one. Hit it. Light load. Since there's only a power piston in there, the darts do fit much deeper into the shell and are a little bit easier to load. Okay, dart number two, left plate. And you can see where the round hit. And it should be noted that these plates are set at about a 20 degree angle. Um, that allows us to use simple geometry to deflect the rounds off to the side and away from us. Okay, ready to be ready. Another pointy one. Load her up. Okay, Phillips head dart. Oh, it just completely failed. For some reason, a lot of people want me to shoot drill bits because they think it's going to make it spin. They do. They think it's going to spin in the air. Load that mofo up. Okay, drill bit. Final shot. Hit it. It missed. Hit it! Oh no. It missed. Now we'll take a look at what the high speed cameras captured. There are three phases of ballistics. Uh, the first phase is called internal ballistics, and that's what's happening as the gun is fired and what the round is doing as it's going through the barrel. Now we theorize that this failed because the urethane was compressed from the G-Shock, the urethane expanded and the bond between the steel rod and the fins was just lost and the two pieces just flew apart. Now the second phase of ballistics is called external ballistics and that is when it leaves the barrel and reaches the target. Now this round survived phase one of ballistics and phase two, it flew relatively straight, nose forward, didn't uh, fly sideways or anything like that. So that's definitely a major accomplishment. The final phase of ballistics is called terminal ballistics. And that is simply what the round does when it impacts the target. Dart number three again flew straight and impacted nose first. Unfortunately, it didn't have enough energy to pierce the quarter inch steel plate. Now it should be noted that dart number one used a full powder charge and all the darts after that used a 50% powder charge. A lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of money was put into making these things and we didn't want to just, you know, have these things go to waste. Now shot four was a, another success. Anytime you can get a, a homemade dart like this to fly straight through the air, and hit nose first at a plate that you're aiming at is a is a win as far as I'm concerned. And the funny thing is, we never know what's 
really happening with these darts when we're filming it. We don't review the footage or anything. We just shoot it and then go back and review the footage later on. And then it's like, oh, wow, you see what happened? Now at the end of this video, I'll put a link to a playlist where you can review five other previous designs that he has made. And it's really interesting to see the evolution of these. With the Phillips head bit, we thought it was a complete failure and it was kind of surprising to see how fast and straight it actually flew. Now even though he did not hit the plate, you can see it go down and to the right a little bit. Still pretty impressive to see a homemade dart that is based off designs and uh, research from the internet and um, it's still flying nose first at a very high velocity. And then finally the drill bit dart, it was only successful in its uh, internal ballistics, it survived being shot, but it corkscrewed around, flew a little bit wonky, and uh, but a lot of people wanted to see a drill bit, so we finally were able to film that. And finally we have a couple steel images of the steel plates. This one was just a little ding. Second one was a more significant impact point. If you're interested in seeing the evolution of these custom darts, check out my playlist videos 7 through 11. Thanks for watching.